Baba. 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 Hello viewers, this is the Gender Chat Show and my name is Olumide Oyinbokure and with me is... My name is Adeza Wangpo. Welcome to the show. And today we will be talking about a very wonderful topic. And that is a, at what age should a lady get pregnant or keep her pregnancy? Mm -hmm. A whole lot of ladies are settling for being single mothers this day. We ain't waiting for our knight in shining armor to come propose anymore. Um, with the age of sophistication, being educated, educated being financially, financially empowered, um, women are actually choosing to say, you know what, I can't wait for him to propose. I can, I can choose to be a mother. I mean, the, the, the issue of uh, single motherhood is becoming the rave of the moment. You wouldn't blame them. If it takes so long for someone whom you've been dating to propose, well, you sometimes you just have to think about the fact that women, as you grow older, your biological, biological clock ticks and um, your, chance, your chances you of getting pregnant reduces. So your options are actually either you freeze your egg or you choose to become a single, single mother mom. or you just say yes to even the person who in your own idea it doesn't meet up to your standard of a man you want to but settle down what with. what the society says about this? Mm. Do they frown at it or should they be empathic about the woman Do involved? Do they show, in our part of the world, um, single mothers are, I think they are having it hard. But for those of them who don't care, they just act like they don't exist. And don't forget the fact that people turn out to be single mothers, even not because they want it to be so. Some of them, it could be that they lost their husbands early. Oh. It could be that um, their husbands left them for another woman. Mm -hmm. It could be several oh. factors. A whole lot of things could have led to that, yeah. yeah. Man, this is going to be a very wonderful yeah, show Yeah, quite tonight. interesting. If you think women out there should be able to say, I'm 30, I want to get pregnant, I am 25, I don't want to wait, or you think, oh, well, I don't think men are so fantastic enough for me to want to live under the same roof. Wait, Let me just get pregnant just, and just um, move on with mm, life. Just get pregnant. As long as I am financially buoyant, I can take care of my child. All this and lots more are the issues we will be talking about on today's Gender Chat Show. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, viewers. This is still the Gender Chat Show, and I'm still Olumide Oyinbokure. And our wonderful guest is Mrs. Inena, who is a fashion designer. And together, we will be talking about at what time or age should a lady or a girl keep pregnancy? What do you think? Should the lady wait till when she meets the right person, that is the Prince Charming in his armor, or should she just get married because age is no longer on her side? Ma, what do you think? Should a lady wait till when the right person comes, or should she just go ahead and get pregnant for just anybody? I think the lady should wait till the right time comes, maybe when she got married, before she will be able to get pregnant and have a child. So you're saying that she should wait before she gets pregnant. But what does the society say about this? For a lady, for, for, for a lady who is a single mother, how do they view it? If you talk about society, how they view a lady who is a single mother, I may not say much about that, what society say about it. But what I want to talk about is that being a single mother when we are still single, is not just that right. What makes many people to become a single mother today is not just by their making. At mm. times, most of them lost their husband. Mm. At times, when they are maybe when they are someone when they are dating someone at the process, they got pregnant. That person deny the pregnancy. pregnancy. They will decide to keep that pregnancy. Or well, the person is not financially okay to take care of the pregnancy and the child. At thank at you. The most of them view it that way that this person that maybe I'm not ready for this marriage. Yeah, I'm not ready for, for this, this pregnancy. pregnancy. Can you go about this? Maybe the lady will say no. 
I will not abort it. I would like to keep this pregnancy. Then the guy will say, if you decided to keep it, keep it, but I'm not ready for this. The, the lady will say, I will keep, keep it. But there's a trend actually now. You see a whole lot of young ladies at a certain age, once you're in your 30s, there's always this urge to want to be mothers. They are not interested in being married, yeah? Probably because they've not found a guy in, who, in their own thinking, doesn't meet their standard of the kind of person they want to settle down for. And um, they feel they have the urge to become mothers. And of course, most women, you know how it is with women, you, you want to nurture, you want to raise, you want to cater to a child and all that. So people actually settle down for that. In your thinking, you think it's a rave that should not be encouraged because this is Nigeria, yeah, so it's not, it's not something we should talk about. It's not something we should encourage. If you look all that way around, yes. in Nigeria or in Africa, people think that is right. Instead of me waiting without maybe I have not seen a man I want to settle down with and the age is up to me. Let me go pregnant and have my own baby and stand on this and become a single mother. But if you look at it in a Christian way, it's not advisable. You wait for your own husband. Definitely every woman or every lady have their own husband. To come at any time, when you have that faith, it's your own husband will come and you will start having your own babies under your own, under your husband. But Mrs. Instead of Mrs. Nina, yeah. there's also the health aspects of ladies not getting pregnant on time. Say for example, a lady that has an issue of fibroid in, the, in her family line. She's, you know, she's, she, she, she's anxious to get pregnant on time so that she will not be caught in that problem. I mean, what's your view on that? Uh, if in, in a, a lady's family, the issue of fibroid, that will make the other lady start thinking that she too will have the same problem that the other one have. Okay. What should be in her mind that my sister have five broad, mm -hmm. I myself I will not yeah. have the five broad. Despite the age I am, mm -hmm. if Sarah can give birth at the, at the age of 19 years, then if I got married at the age of 30, 40 years, I will still give birth to mine. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, you know it is scientifically proven that the older a woman gets, the lower your chances of actually becoming pregnant. Yeah, Your fertility rate reduces as you get older. Mm, yeah. And um, the, the choice is here is get pregnant while waiting for the man to propose. No. Or get pregnant and force the man to pro propose. Or you freeze your egg. People are actually freezing their eggs. Is it a thing to, is it a trend to encourage? Really, in my opinion, yeah, you, you, you don't think, you, you really don't think a woman deserves to nurture a child simply because there's no man available, oh, no. as in, I mean. or, do, or you feel those children can grow up to be menaced to the society. Don't they Knowing all have the same, the same There's no father figure chance. involved. Yeah. I don't think it's right for a woman to do it purposely. But if it's happened by mistake, it's not advisable for that lady to terminate the pregnancy. But doing it because I'm up to age is not what I cannot encourage that. Okay. Me, I'm talking aspect of the Christian way, but in our own world today, many people did not see it as something wrong. They thought that it's normal. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing to do. After all, I'm getting up to age. I can't keep on waiting for a man to propose to me. In short, I'm equal to the tax to take care of a child. Let me... So you're saying that one should not nurture such thoughts, but if it happens accidentally, then it's, exactly. it's good to exactly. go. Exactly, exactly. Oh. But the other option, if you get pregnant, is, should be abortion. Our society frowns so much at abortion. True really? or false? And um, that's very true. I think at a certain age, you don't want to take the risk of abortion. So if the society that says do not abort is still frowning at the fact that you should not keep pregnancy, how do you balance both? Where does balancing your idea of do not abort and, and do not get pregnant come in? Mm, I don't get you very well. Say I get pregnant. I intend to keep it. But because the society 
says frowns at single hey, single parents. Oh, you you're not married. Oh, and you go all about it's a pregnancy or oh, with your child as a single mother. And then the, s the same society tells you do not, do not abort. abort. Abortion is a sin. Blah 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 blah. How do you balance both? How you're caught in the middle. We 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 send so much mixed signal to the woman. So how do you balance both? He should keep the pregnancy instead of aborting the pregnant because keeping mm. the pregnancy will be better than aborting it. There is high tendency of baby mama. Uh, it's so much. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You like somebody, mama, you know he's not available to settle down with you, but you want the person's seed. You want to be the mother of the person's, of the person's child. child. Even though you know the person is not ready to propose to you. But you're willing to be the, ch the, the, mother, the mother of the of person's um, offspring. What do you think of this baby mama saga? Uh, maybe, like you said, the, the guy did not want to settle down with the lady. But the lady is in love with the guy. Hmm. Definitely, that lady wants to keep that baby to remind him of that guy. Because each time he sees the baby, it reminds him of, of, of him. That gives her joy. So babies now become a souvenir for love. <laughs> but the, the aspect of uh, financial buoyancy, I mean, what if the, the woman involved is not financial uh, capable of taking care of the child? What should she do in that situation? Hmm. I think what the lady will do is Taking the baby. Should she keep the child uh, place her on, uh, for, uh, for adoption? Or keep no, her If with she the... has parents, she should okay. keep the child to her parents. But if she don't have parents, she can take the child to motherize, uh, to motherize babies where they will take care of the child. So issue of um, giving up your child for adoption. adoption. I think um, who detects that? Is it financial capacity that decides if you want to give up your child for adoption? Because most people who actually decide to be single parents are actually those who have proposed in their mind that they are financially so capable, capable of, of taking, taking care, care of, of their child. child. So who decides that? Is finance, is that enough reason to give up a child for adoption? No, it's not enough reason. Because when a lady say I'm ready to keep pregnancy, that okay. means she's ready to take care of that child. That means mentally she's ready, she's ready. physically she's ready, financially but she's everything ready. Everything she's so ready. So the issue of uh, adoption is ruled out. Yeah. But well, let's, not, let's not leave out a very, very important aspect. Our society, are we emotionally nice? Do we, do we show sympathy towards single parents? Do we show sympathy towards women that are pregnant out of wedlock? How do, do we? How do we treat them? them? How do how we, we view, view them? them? We are quick to judge in this part you of the world. You're judgmental here. <laughs> Sorry to say. <laughs> uh, we should. should they show love, or despite the other that, way despite that they have pregnancy out of marriage, that one will not make us to treat them bad. We should still show them love that we show others. Let's quickly go on a short break. We'll be right back. Please don't go away. It's still the Gender Chat Show. Welcome back. It's still the Gender Chat Show, and we're discussing single parenting, getting pregnant as a woman. At what age do you think it's okay to keep pregnancy? What if, what if now your daughter suddenly gets pregnant? What will you do? If my daughter suddenly get pregnant, I will not throw her away okay. because she's my daughter. I will bring her in with the pregnancy. But before my daughter okay. get pregnant, she should have in mind she's ready to take care of that pregnancy. Because it's uh, what I say, train a child in a way it should grow up with. When it grow up, it will not depart from, from it. it. Sure, sure. And we should make our children our friends, not only our children, but let them also be our friends. So that 
cannot like they live, mm. you will know mm. as a parent. Mm. The things they do, they will be free to tell you some things. Even that the things that happen in the school, the things that happen when they are coming back, mm. when you give them that chance, they will be free to tell you everything. Mm. And as a parent, what we have is to advise them because we are in there before them. So we need to advise them, tell them the precautions of all those things. Look at how far you go, it will result to pregnancy. Better yet, stay away from sex before marriage. marriage. Tell me, what's the difference between a child raised by a single mother and a child raised by both parents? I say no different. It's a child raised by two parents and one raised by single parent. I've seen no difference at all. It depends how that single parent bring up that child. Hmm. That is when the child grows, people will say it's because it's a single parent that raised up the child. But when a child, like when you as a mother or a father, if you live a good life, you can use your life to talk to your child. Hmm. When you want to talk to him or her, you say, when you want to talk to her, you say, Use me as an example. Mm. When I was growing up, this is the way I lived my life. Mm. Then please, can you just imitate me in living that kind of life? But when you live a bad life, you will not, you will not be that bold to tell your child, imitate me. Because people, your child will, will ask questions. Yes. Maybe, Mom, okay. what kind of life do you live when you are growing up? You will be able to tell your child. I started having sex at the age of 20 years. I started having sex after marriage or something like that. So I don't see any difference at all. But people in the world today see it that is different, but it's not. At times we find out that when a single mother raises a child, it comes out perfectly. It comes out with a good behavior. You will surprise. Is it a child that's raised up with a single parent or something like that? So I don't see anything different at all. Hmm. With bullying issues. issues. Because, um, because she's you go to school and parent. your friends, so you're not there. Yeah. And a child comes home crying and telling you, Story people music. say st all sorts. How do you help that child with their self-esteem? But definitely, every child has a father. Definitely. That is what you will let that child to know. Mm. You have a father. Mm. You tell the child the reason why you decided to raise him, the reason why you decided to raise her up as a single mother. mother. Yeah. Don't hide anything from her. This is the situation that warrants me to keep you. Mm. Maybe the pregnancy come out of mistake. They asked me to abort it. I said no. Was not, was because ready, the man is not ready, ready for the pregnancy. pregnancy. I decided to keep you. That child will be happy to hear that because you did not terminate him or her huh. there. You keep her. Because you don't know what that child will become tomorrow. tomorrow. Choices. <laughs> Choices. Let's get to the streets and find out what viewers on the street think about this issue. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. The society should show them love. It should show them care because many of them are, let's say, they are looking for one opportunity and the other to bring out something out of their mistake. Many of them are, the, the men left them with the children and the rest, but what they, need to, what they need from the society is love and care, support, empowerment from one area to another, and also an individual as also, we should be able to show them love. It's not the single mother's fault, because so many of them doesn't want to be a single mother, but some, somehow the husbands or the society cause it. Sure you understand. And then you see men, they are not ready to marry now. They only deceive. They will tell you, they will marry, we marry you, I will marry you. Let us be dating. At the end of the day, by the time that they then see that they have put that uh, lady into a family way, that is when they will say, I will only take my baby, oh. I'm not ready for uh, to marry yet. Or... Let us just keep like that till maybe uh, when things is better. And I knew that if the society is okay, no man doesn't want to marry. But since the society is, may God forgive everybody. For me, I feel bad because it's not good. 
even Bible condemn it. No, you cannot condemn them. Only thing to help them out, put them in normal position, find solution on it, uh, of, of it. Because this thing is getting too much, even for my area. We see people born, we start doing sweet more, following all this sugar that they wear and there, going club and coming back every time, living their life the way they want. Welcome back viewers. That is what the street thinks about single mom keeping the child or getting pregnant. Ada Eze, what do you think about this? It's a question of choice. People should be able to decide what works for them. I think women, we really do not have the chance or the choice like the guys. For men, for whatever age you choose to be um, sterile, sterile, fertile or whatever, it's, it's, it works for you They're people. But for ladies, it's hard. It's really, really hard because for you to age, decide if age, you want to keep your pregnancy mm. and all that. And our society is not being friendly when it comes to treating pre and single mothers. We, mother. tr we are so hostile to them. I think mm. we should learn to respect them, treat them with empathy, show them love. Um, children raised by single parents, like she said, they are not in any way different from those raised by both parents. They me, turn out fantastic, actually. Maybe because they know they have the lesser privilege. They don't have the privilege of having a father. They get more focused. They, they get extra love. Their mother wants, likes to double love for the love that is not available. Or I the, feel that once the child is well taken care of, mm -hmm. then they are good to go. What matters most is raising the child in a good way. Well, you know, this is Nigeria. <laughs> um, we are very spiritual and religious people. I respect that a lot too, but I think things are changing. The people Trends. don't settle down early these days because of economic situation. Uh, yeah, know, a whole lot of guys want to make their billions financial before the. Financial strength and buoyancy. Uh -huh. And a woman who feels I'm educated, I'm financially empowered, and you consider your age, you might think, well, I might as well just just get pregnant, not share a child. People which I, base marriage on. Having children. Exactly. That, that, and that, once you're in your 40s, also, it's harder. Yeah. When you're, once you're in your 50s, it's, it's harder. harder. So I just think things are changing. Things we usually frown upon are actually changing. And she did a fantastic she job. Yeah, she was job. actually wonderful. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. All right, viewers. This is a wrap for today. Join us, same time, same station, for this wonderful show, The Gender Chat Show. Our Facebook handle is forward slash gender chat show and our Twitter handle is gender chat show. See you next week. Bye.